I am Dr. Bina Jaising, Senior Consultant Obstetrician and Laparoscopic Gynecologist at Columbia Hospitals on Sarjapur Road. I have special interest in management of high-risk pregnancies and laparoscopic gynec surgeries. Overt and untreated hypothyroidism has been related to maternal and fetal complications. Likewise, hypothyroidism has also been associated with maternal and fetal complications. So, it is very essential that we maintain the thyroid hormones within the normal limits as per the guidelines. So, in a woman who is pregnant with hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism, we have to give them thyroid replacement drugs and antithyroid drugs based upon the condition. So, how safe are these drugs? With respect to hypothyroidism, the medication guidelines currently states that the safest thyroid replacement drug is the oral levothyroxine. Active T3 and desiccated thyroid are not advised. Iodine is also an important mineral required during pregnancy and lactation. As per the WHO guidelines, it is about 250 microgram per day. And if a replacement is required, it should be given in the form of potassium iodine. In case of hyperthyroidism, it's a little tricky situation because pregnancy complicating hyperthyroidism management is more challenging than vice versa. From 20 weeks of pregnancy, the fetal thyroid is very sensitive and completely responsive to the maternal antithyroid drugs and beta blockers that are given to treat the condition of hyperthyroidism because these drugs readily close the placenta. So, to keeping these antithyroid drugs at the lowest minimum dosage is very important. We have two commonly used drugs. One is propylthiouracil and another is methimazole. Methimazole is always preferred over propylthiouracil because propylthiouracil has been associated with maternal hepatotoxicity that is maternal liver damage. But there is a constraint with methimazole. Methimazole is associated causing congenital defect namely esophageal or coanal atresia in the fetus. So now considering these two, we now prefer to give propylthiouracil during the first three months of pregnancy that's the first trimester then switch over to methimazole throughout the pregnancy. So we did speak about complications related to thyroid dysfunction. So what are they? Hypothyroidism to start off with, especially overt and untreated hypothyroidism has been associated with intellectual and neurocognitive development disorder in the fetus as well as with recurrent miscarriages and prematurity. Subclinical hypothyroidism has no clear correlation with intellectual or neurocognitive disorder in the baby. But there's one large study that has shown that it has been associated with low IQ babies. With hyperthyroidism, it has been well and clearly linked to early pregnancy losses, development of pregnancy-induced hypotension or preeclampsia in the mother causing what is called as a thyroid storm that is an acute and sudden release of gush of thyroid hormones, congestive cardiac failure in the mother and neonatal hyperthyroidism in the newborn.